We need energy. We need energy for many things. Fuel for cars, electricity, and more. A major source of our energy is fossil fuels. Where does all this energy come from? Under the right conditions, these dead organisms after hundreds of millions of years become oil, coal, and natural gas. These are the non-renewable fuels. These non-replaceable fuels are found underground. We drill for oil. Then it must be refined. Natural gas is found near oil deposits. It's used a lot for cooking and heating. It's very explosive. Solid coal is found underground. It's formed in layers. We must dig or mine for it. Coal is mostly used to power electrical power plants. These non-renewable fossil fuels, while easily converted to energy, have several problems. They pollute the environment. They generate carbon dioxide from their combustion. Non-renewable means they can't be easily replaced. We will run out. We are increasingly looking for new energy sources. We would like these energy sources to be renewable. Solar power. The sun is a limitless supply of energy. The sun's energy can be harnessed to provide our energy needs. Scientists are working to find ways to convert the sun's energy into a form we can use. Next is hydropower, the energy of flowing water. Flowing water from a dam turns turbines to generate electricity. Damming rivers can convert this energy to a form we can use for our needs. Biomass energy comes from growing things. Crops can be replaced by growing new crops. An example is corn, which is converted to ethanol, a fuel we can use for cars, to eliminate our dependence on non-renewable oil. Biomass using energy from renewable sources. Geothermal energy. Underground molten lava heats underground water, providing a never-ending source of heat. In certain areas of the world, Geothermal energy is an important energy source. Wind power, generating windtricity.
Each windmill is its own electrical generator, providing electrical energy. Texas is now the leading producer of wind power in America. Last, we have hydrogen. Found in vast supplies on Earth in the form of water, it can be converted to an energy source. Through the process of electrolysis, hydrogen is separated from oxygen in a water molecule. The energy is stored in fuel cells and can be used to power cars, heat homes, and more. Energy. Many sources, many uses, many needs. Join us as we learn more about the sources of our energy.